when like the show first comes on and it says Netflix. <laughs> Probably Gaten because he. I feel like he just watched a bunch of like Ken Burns documentaries and like just cloud up my feed, make it look like just sad because he was watching sad stuff. You know what I mean? And Gaten just pushes. Do you see that doc? I'm just like, yeah, dude, it's really sad. I don't really want to watch. I don't want to hear about it right now. He was a huge. Gaten's just a huge history buff, and a lot of history is super sad. And so sometimes he talk, he's not a downer. He's not as much of a downer as I'm making him out to be. He's like a sweet puppy dog, but sometimes he'll say something where I'm like. Man, I don't want to hear that today. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> so yeah, probably Gaten. I would not trust that man with any password of my life. I would trust him with like a bomb that he had to defuse or something, because he's trustworthy like that. But not for not for a Netflix account. Um, there was that show Sex Ed, which I really liked, which is on Netflix. But I'm trying to think of something that we all raved about. I remember I just I just saw Mid 90s, Jonah Hill's Mid 90s, and I was raving about it on set a lot and talking about it. Oh yeah, we talked about Star Wars a lot. That's what, that was the season. I remember at least five different conversations about the new Star Wars movies. I don't know, I like them. I, there's no, I don't have any problems with them. I, I like episode three a lot. <laughs> I like the, the lava fight at the end where Anakin burns to death. <laughs> but it's fun, I don't know. I like those movies. Oh man, well, um, I had a, I had a VHS player up until I was like 10 or nine or 10 and, um, and so I watched like the first, some of the first movies I ever watched was we had a box set of like Revenge of the Sith and, and uh, A New Hope. Um, so I watched it really early on. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I guess VHS was introduced um, earlier. I think a lot of my friends grew up with more DVD players, but I grew up with VHS. And then moved slowly to DVD and then Blu-ray when the PS3 came out. Yeah, definitely. I think it was again like it was on accident, but like it makes so much more. It makes so much sense. Stranger Things identified with me so much just because like all the Duffer's influences and all the um, Stranger Things influences were all movies that I grew up watching. So it definitely came full circle for sure. Uh, ooh, Barry. I just watched Barry. Finished it. Like I said before, I watched all of Sex Ed, which I really liked. Thought it was super fun on Netflix. Yeah, Barry, I, I was super behind on Barry. I had only seen the first episode, and then I just binge watched the first season and uh, season two now. But that was probably the last thing I did, yeah. I got a text from a bunch of friends saying there's Bob Dylan vibes, so yeah, they're very big compliments. I mean, for music, for sure, but like style had never, or look has never been Bob Dylan, even though that's what comes out. Hope I got to see that dude, because he's getting older now. So hope I got to see him before he kicks the bucket one day. When I was younger, like, I didn't really have, like, a set style. I was kind of into skater clothes and stuff. So I just wear street skater stuff and baggy clothes. And then and then I started, like, doing more stuff like this. So now I wear more, like, I don't know, 70s rock stuff. And um, it's like a 70s rock with, like, street, like, skate culture vibe. I have no idea. I just wear what I think is cool and comfortable, I guess. And, like, makes you feel more unique because it's not as much of a thing anymore, but I think like that look is coming back for sure. There's a reason why like Reebok classics are huge now again and like all the vintage stuff is huge. That's why Stranger Things has a collab with Nike now with the Cortezes and stuff. Whatever, I'll still throw on like a t-shirt and like gross sweatpants and walk around. Crocs. <laughs> I mean, I would love like to see myself on a set for the first time because that was like the moment that everything like clicked in my head and like the moment I had, it was probably like, the most fun I've ever had. I'd love to go back and like see that happen. I remember I was just so excited and I was probably, I, I couldn't shut up, could not stop talking about everything and cameras. I was just so overstimulated. So if I were to ever go back, I'd just tell myself to shut up and just watch and just learn. Dude, um... Spider-Verse was amazing, the last Spider-Man movie. I saw that in theaters twice, just cause like, I, it was something so unique. The animation was so unique and I hadn't seen something like that in so long. And uh, it's old now, but it came out like 10, like 11 years ago, but like all the old Leica stuff. Um, I haven't seen any of their new stuff, but like Coraline and Paranorman and all that stuff is amazing. And uh, occasionally I'll watch some anime. I'm not like huge into anime or anything. Um, Full Metal Aquas Brotherhood is really good and um, Gurren Logan is great. And Akira, Akira is like one of my favorite films of all time. I don't know if that classifies as like anime, but you know, I, I watched it. 
to Doom, like the game Doom. <laughs> Doom. Do -do 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 